What is happening in here? Some kind of party? What is going on? Who's over there? It's you guys. You helped me get to 200 subscribers. Thanks, guys. I'm gonna turn the lights on here. Oh, I can see all my machines are out. Look at that. Everybody come out to play. All my machines are out and display for you guys. I thought I'd show you every one of my machines today. Just a quick glance at them all while I talk about the zigzagger. At 10 lucky people are gonna get a chance to win. Okay, you guys, I'm only gonna, I want the first 10 photos of a slanted needle machine that you have, right? You gotta send me a picture of your slanted needle machine. You gotta send me your name. You gotta put your name up with your machine. And the first 10 photos that are sent to me, I will do a draw for you guys to win the zigzagger. So a one in 10 chance, guys. A one in 10 chance. How do you like that? I painted that. That's my 1591 from 1936. You can see this poor table has been beat up. This is the one you guys see me do a lot of my machine uh, viewings on or sew offs or whatever. This is, there's drill holes in the top of this poor table. But anyways, I saved this machine. It's one of my early restorations. One of my favorites. Of course, no collection is complete without a 221. You never get to see this because it's in its case. I try to keep this protected as much as I can. They're valuable. You guys know the Spartan if you've watched any previous videos. But if you haven't, go check it out. And the 99 for parts. And there's the 27. This is my model 27 from 1904. Normally it sits in that treadle table. But I'm going to be taking it out of that treadle table. Well, I have taken it out of the treadle table. Because I need that cast iron. Because this has been broken and welded right there, guys. Right up there. It's hard to see on camera. But somebody has repaired this treadle base. So I'm going to take that treadle base uh, off and take the cast off my other one and make one good one for my 66 because it deserves it <gasps> what's that hey look at that there's the zigzagger whose is it one in ten chance guys what about this fast 332 from germany you guys like that it's got a convertible bed so it's actually a uh, uh long arm or what do you call them free arm that's a free arm this all folds away it's really cool. That part comes off. They call it a convertible because this top cap pops off very easily to service the top of that. I'll show you guys that one day if I ever get the belt. Does anybody want that zigzagger? Anyways, uh, yeah, what else we got here? My 1948-128. You've seen the 306 go against the 206. You're waiting for this 201 against the 66, aren't you? Well, you're going to see that. Look at that hand crank. Oh, and this, this is still here. Yeah, and I haven't got the electric motor yet, guys. There's my other hand crank. You know what my next video is gonna be? This hand crank versus that hand crank. What do you think, guys? Yeah, that's gonna be a good one. And there's that gorgeous necky. And there's a 1591 that's in really good condition. That's why it's up on my shelf right there. Figured you gotta have two of those, one good condition, one I did. And of course my 115 from 1917. You guys all seen that. And we got an intruder, of course. The Aero Automatic. Japan clone class 15. Don't mind my motorcycle parts, but that's my shop, guys. Normally there's my Harley in here taking up all the room. But for special occasion today, I thought. I take the bike out, get all the machines out, and show you what you're about to win. If you have a slanted needle and you want to send me a picture. That's right, guys. Send me a picture to this email. Never mind my band-aid. Don't be staring at my band-aid. I hurt myself today. Put your email, I'll put my email, sorry, right here. You guys send me a photo 
and your name and I'll enter you in the contest. And when I get to 10 photos, I'll do a video and I'll do the draw. And I'll tell you what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spice it up a little bit. Not only are you gonna win the zigzagger, I'm gonna throw in a buttonholer if I can get it open. Okay guys, here it is. Instruction booklet, the buttonholer, the attachment plate in the bottom, the screw, those and another set of templates all right there you go guys that is what i am giving away first 10 photos you get a slanted needle attachment let me get this out let me show you this stuff come on now what am i doing what am i doing there you go yeah i can't get it out it's in there good those are all metal both of them could be yours. All you gotta do is send me a photo in your name. And of course, a way to contact you. Anywhere in Canada and United States, I will pay for the shipping. So you're getting this absolutely free, guys. I'm gonna ship it to your house. Anywhere in Canada, United States, for free. All you gotta do is send me a photo. How hard is that? And I'll tell you what, somebody has already sent me a photo. So now you only got a one in nine chance. What are you waiting for? All right, guys, I got to go. I got to get everything back in the shop here and start putting my machines away. I might sew with some of them first, though. Yeah, what am I going to pick? This one? No, that one doesn't have a motor. Oh, yeah, that one. to mention one more thing guys um yeah i made that statue of scrap metal and that lamp yeah look at that Something need that shelf out of a rotor uh yeah forgot to mention if you want to uh just send in any pictures of your machines feel free to do that i'd still love to look at your machines doesn't have to be a slanted needle just to enter the contest you need slanted needle but anyways yeah if you guys want to send any photos or any machines you got, feel free to do so. But until then, that's Dawson's Thinker Shack. I can't wait to find out who wins the zigzagger. Talk to you later, guys.